So a few days ago, Google have released their new image generation model, Nano Banana Pro. Nano Banana Pro is a fully upgraded version of its predecessor, Nano Banana, which was already amazing to begin with. An example of its capabilities is this simple infographic that was created from just a simple picture of a plant and a prompt that just says, create an infographic about this plant, focusing on interesting information. And even the clarity of the text with no spelling errors, which usually happen with older models, shows how powerful this tool will be for agent builders. And here's another example of the word Berlin being integrated into the architecture of a building. And the level of realism in this photo is very impressive. But today what I want to show you guys is how you can get this model up and running in NAN. And the workflow we're going to be looking at today is taking a simple prompt and then creating it into an image that looks like this one right here. And if you guys are interested in using this workflow right here, I'm going to be leaving a link to my free school community in the description below where you can find a download file for this workflow. But in order to get this working, we're going to have to go to a website called key.ai. So once you head it over to key.ai and you've logged in, you can just head up here to the API market. And here you'll have uh, so much different models to choose from. So you have Nano Banana Pro, but you also have like options like Sora 2, Veo, and yeah, just so many different options. And Nano Banana Pro through Key API's platform does a couple of really cool things. And one of the things is that you have the option to produce a video with no watermark which is really cool because when you're producing videos using the Nando Banana Pro through Google's platform, you'll get a watermark. It'll be like a little diamond Gemini symbol in the corner. The other cool thing is that you could produce up to 4K in quality for your videos for only around $0.12, which is really cheap. But the main reason that we're here in KAS platform is so we're able to access Nando Banana Pro's API whilst we're inside of NAM. So if you've downloaded the workflow, all you'll have to do is to change a couple of the prompts to get up and running. So if we just head into our first node, which is our prompt node, we can see our prompt here. And I've written a hyper-realistic photo of Dubai with snow during Christmas time. So I'm going to go ahead and execute the workflow. And as it's going, I'll explain how it works. So there are two separate HTTP requests. The first is to create the image. And if we just head into here, we can see that we have a URL here from Key API's platform, which is telling the agent to create a task. Then if we scroll down, we just enter our API key right here. So you guys will just have to put your API key in here from the key API platform. And to get your key, you just want to scroll down once you're on the key API platform, go to get API key, and then you just create your key here. You also want to make sure you have enough credits by topping up your account. And then if you scroll down slightly more, you can see the body request, which is for the image that we actually want to create. And what our request includes is firstly, uh, Nano Banana Pro, which is the model that we want to use. And then we have our json.prompt string here, which we dragged in from our prompt node right here. And what that string is doing is that it's telling the agent what our prompt is which it says over here, a hyper-realistic photo of the buy with snow during Christmas time. Lastly, we then have our aspect ratio, resolution, and output format. And if you guys want to know why I got this body here for the request, I'll show you right now. So you want to head back over to the key.ai website, select the API market option up here to take you to the models market. And then you just want to select Nano Banana Pro down here. Then you just want to head over to the API section here. And you'll see that there are lots of different options and features here, including obviously your model, which is Nano Banana Pro, which is required. You have a few optional features, such as the callback URL, the input prompt, obviously, which is required, which is just a prompt. Yeah, and some other options. There's ratio, which is also optional, which how, how big you want the image, resolution, and yeah, so on. And then lastly, we have our request, which is why I copied into NAN. So once our first request has been completed, we're given with a task ID here, which is just this long number here. And what this ID is right here is that the platform is telling you it understands your requirement and it's working on an output. And because the platform needs time to generate your request, we have to wait. So I've set up a waiting node right here. And this node will wait for five seconds before moving on to the next node. And so after the five seconds wait, we have a second HTTP request. And this is getting the image. And specifically, what this node is doing is checking the status of our request. And the way I filled in that request was by heading back over to the key API platform into the Nano Banana Pro documentation. Just heading over here to the API section and then go into query task here. And then here you have your example to copy back into NAN. And then, yeah, once you've imported the request back into NAN with this button right here, you just need to enter your task ID, which is from the previous node over here into this value, as well as your API key here from the platform. And if we just go back out of this node here, we can see that we now have this loop, this polling loop here. And now if we also just take a look at this if node, which I created here, it checks the JSON data state, which is the state of the request, which we created. And if the status is set as success, which means we have our link, 
then the workflow will end here. And therefore, if the status is set as anything other than success, then we'll wait another five seconds. And this loop will just keep happening until we get a success. And lastly, we have our link. So we'll just open this here. And yeah, our link's here. So we'll check that out now. And here's the result that we ended up with, which is a really cool photo of a snowy Dubai. And so that's the finished workflow. And if you guys enjoyed this one, let me know in the comment section below. If you want to see any more workflows, also just drop a comment. And I'm also going to be leaving a link to my free school community in the description below. In my community, I'll have the link to my YouTube videos, as well as the downloadable files like the one in this video. So feel free to check it out if you'd like. And that's all for this one, guys. I'll see you guys next time.